Pleasant Sunday afternoon, moms and dads, boys and girls. Welcome to another edition of Children's Bible Minutes. Rafi, Muki, and who are you? Analia is, uh, yeah. Analia is with us this afternoon. We are excited to be here with you this wonderful Sunday afternoon. Guess what? We're a little bit tired because we've had a long week. Yes. And uh, it's been a hectic weekend as well. But guess what? We know we had to come and do the show for you today because we know you're looking forward to it. And we love that we're doing this today. You remember what we're talking about today, Miss Anale? Uh, I believe it's compassion. We are talking about compassion. Yes, yes, yes. We are talking about compassion. And compassion, we'll be looking at today. What exactly is compassion? Is it the same thing as kindness? But before we get into all of that, we have to start with our first song. And our first song for today is one that it's called, It's Easy to Be Kind. And this one comes from Wiz Kiddos. So let's have a listen. It's easy to be kind Kindness, kindness It's easy to be kind It's a way to put a smile On someone's face Just a little bit Can go a long way When you are kind People will see It makes a world better For you and me Kindness is in the words That you say And how you treat people Throughout the Yes, it's true. So make sure to be kind to your neighbor. And be kind to your friend. Show kindness to your mom and dad. We can start right now. So let's begin. Kindness, kindness. It's easy to be kind. Kindness, kindness. It's easy to be kind. Kindness, kindness. It's easy to be kind It's easy to be kind When you're feeling sad and blue It feels good when someone's nice to you Sharing is caring and good to do So be kind to others They'll be kind to you It's good to say please and thank you They're easy words to say Showing your manners is a kind and polite way. So make sure to be kind to your neighbor and be kind to your friend. Show kindness to your mom and dad. We can start right now, so let's begin. Kindness, kindness, it's easy to be kind. Kindness. love that one from Wiz Kiddos, that one called It's Easy to Be Kind. And that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about compassion. And one of the easiest ways to show compassion to anyone is to put yourself in their place and be kind. And guess what? We have a Bible story for today that we well, the Bible reading that tells us about Jesus showing compassion for his disciples and he and his disciples showing compassion for other people. Do you know where a Bible reading comes from for today, Miss Anale? Our Bible reading comes from Mark chapter 6, verse 30 to 34, 53 to 56. Excellent. So, Mark 6, 30 to 34, 53 to 56. Let's have a listen. Christ healing the multitudes. After the apostles returned to Jesus, they told him everything they had done and taught. 
but so many people were coming and going that Jesus and the apostles didn't even have a chance to eat. Then Jesus said, Let's go to a place where we can be alone and get some rest. They left in a boat for a place where they could be alone, but many people saw them leave and worked out where they were going, so people from every town ran ahead and got there first. When Jesus got out of the boat, he saw the large crowd that was like sheep without a shepherd. He felt sorry for the people and started teaching them many things. Jesus and his disciples crossed the lake and brought the boat to shore near the town of Gennesaret. As soon as they got out of the boat, the people recognised Jesus, so they ran all over that part of the country to bring their sick people to him on mats. They brought them each time they heard where he was. In every village or farm or marketplace where Jesus went, the people brought their sick to him. They begged him to let them just touch his clothes and everyone who did was healed. A wonderful reading there done by Mr. Douglas Brown from Mark chapter 6, verse 32 to 34, 53 to 56. And we heard in that reading, Miss Analia, we heard that Jesus and his disciples had been working hard, and it seems like they were going on vacation. You know what? I think we need to take a vacation, because we've always been working hard, right? Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But... What, anything stood out for you in the reading, Miss Analia? We just saw sorry for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the thing. Having compassion means having a feeling of kindness or feeling sorry for people when you see them in a condition or state that is not the best for them. So it's like, if I see Miss Analia sad, I won't just walk and go, hmm, she's sad. Hmm, well, make I just move. Mm -mm. I will move you for compassion and I will come and say, what's wrong, Miss Analia? How can I make you smile? That's me showing compassion, caring about her. And compassion is all about kindness and is all about caring. But you know what? We're going to talk a little bit more about kindness, compassion, and caring after we listen to our second song. Our second song is a song called Compassion, and it's from Kids Friendly Pop Song. And this young lady, I just heard about her. She's called Miss Blue. You know why she's called Miss Blue? Because her hair is blue. Exactly. And well... I don't really want blue hair, but I like when people do fun things with their hair because I do fun things with my hair. And she has some really nice pop songs. And of course, her link and all the links for the other things in our show is right in the description section. I don't down here or over there. So. But you could look in the description section and you will see the links to it. And of course, this one, Compassion from Miss Blue. Here we go. <laughs> indiscriminate passion. If your passion is indiscriminate, you are equally passionate with everything around you. So, compassion is just all-inclusive passion. That's the only way to exist. 
very short but a very cool yes. one there. You liked it? Nice. Yeah, I liked it. It was really good. That one called Compassion and it's kid friendly pop songs from Miss Blue. And what is compassion? Well, compassion is all about love. And love is in me and love is in you. And we heard a few weeks ago that we love because God first loves us. Yes? And well, if God loves us, then what are we supposed to do? Love everybody else. Love everybody else. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what, boys and girls? Love is free. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay for it in a shop. Love is free. God loves us for free. And so we are called to love others for free. Now, Mookie found a video from one of his friends. You remember Douglas? Douglas from Douglas Talks? Mookie found a talk on Douglas Talks all about compassion. And we are so blessed that the people at Douglas Talks allows the world to use their videos for free because they have compassion in their heart and they want to spread the message of love and compassion all about the teachings of Jesus for free to the world. So let's listen to Douglas as he tells us what compassion is. Here we go. Compassion is caring in action. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And um, today I want to talk to you guys about compassion. And compassion is caring enough about someone to actually do something to help them. My mom is a really good baker. And in my school, we have this bake sale every year where they, they sell these baked goods like cookies and pies and cakes and stuff. And they sell them and they raise money for our schools so we can do cool stuff. And before they sell them, they have this contest to see who has the best baked thing. And like I said, my mom is really good, but she's never actually won the contest. And I can always tell deep down inside that she always wanted to win this contest. She always tries really hard, but... She's just she's usually get like second place or third place or something like that. And this year she tried really, really hard. She made this this cake that was just beautiful and it smelled so good. She was definitely, definitely gonna win. And she she got kind of dressed up all fancy, you know. Not like super fancy, it's just a bake sale, but fancier than normal and she had her nice clothes on. And it's all snowy out this time of year and and I love the snow, but the snow gets really, really gross on the road. Sometimes it gets into this gray, nasty, slushy kind of stuff. Anyways, we're driving to school for this bake sale, and me and my brother and my mom, we're all going. And as we're driving by, we see on the side of the road, there's this, this lady. She's sitting in her car, and um, she, she's definitely got a flat tire. But she's not out fixing it. Maybe she doesn't know how to fix it. I'm not sure. But we drive by just a little ways, but then my mom pulls over and gets out of the car and starts walking back to this lady. My brother and I are just watching it watching out the back window and so my mom she goes back there and she's helping this lady and she we watch her pull out the the little car jack out of the trunk and the spare tire and everything my mom gets down and she starts to get the tire off the car and she puts the new tire on and all in all it takes about 20 minutes and my mom's nice clothes they got kind of smudgy from all the the nasty stuff on the tire and it's all it's all soggy, nasty, gross snow out there, and, and that got on her clothes too. And so she doesn't look as nice as she wanted to before, and we're about 20 minutes late. So they do the contest first thing, so that definitely means that my mom, she wasn't going to win this year because, well, we were late. But my mom, she saw someone who needed help, and she did something about it. That is compassion. That's one of my favorite examples of compassion, but my very most favorite example of compassion isn't from my mom, who's awesome. My mom, I'm really proud of my mom for doing that and helping that lady out. But God gave us the ultimate example of compassion. The Bible says that God loved us so much that he gave his one and only son, Jesus, so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. God saw that we needed help, and he did something about it. It's really easy for someone to say that they care about somebody, you know what I mean? But it's another thing to actually have compassion for them and actually take care of their needs. A lot of times, compassion requires sacrifice. Compassion requires that you give something of yourself to help out another person. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you and I would follow the example of my mom and especially follow the example of God in sending Jesus to pay for our sins. That we would follow these examples and that we would show compassion to those around us. That you and I would show compassion to the poor and the, the lonely and the oppressed and the, and the people that just need help. Because if you and I can show compassion, then we can be a part of God's plan to make the world a better place. What a wonderful talk from Douglas, right? Yes, very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And Douglas spelled it out. Compassion means not just knowing somebody's in trouble, not just saying, oh my gosh, I feel so bad that you're in trouble. It means doing something to help them, right? And 
compassion without action is not helping. And, and that's it. When God saw that we as sinners needed help, he didn't just sit in heaven and go, them holy ones down there. What did he do? John 3, 16, which Douglas quoted, for God so loved the word that he sent his only begotten son. That's it. So to do what? Yeah? To help those who need his help. Exactly. To die for those who believe in him. To make sure that those who believe in him would never perish, but have eternal life. See, God knew that we were in trouble, that we were sinful people, that we needed help. And he just didn't sit there and do nothing. And that's the message for us, boys and girls. If we have a love that comes from God and we claim that we love other people, what we have to do is we have to live lives of compassion, not just feel sorry for somebody, but do something. A lot of the times we pray and we pray, help us, God, to be mindful of those who are less fortunate than ourselves. Yes? But to be mindful of people who are less fortunate than us is good, but to do something to help them is even better. And that's what compassion is about. During the Bible reading, we heard that even though Jesus and his disciples were tired, when the sick people kept coming, even though they were tired, they did something to help the sick people. They had compassion. So now my question for you, boys and girls, do you have compassion? Do you look at other people when they are sad, when they are in need, when they are hurt? Do you do something to help them? Or do you just stand on the sideline and watch? Because watching does what to help? Nothing. Watching does nothing to help. We have to put into action. Well, that's what our talk for today is about. All about compassion. And we only have one song to go. Yes? But before we listen to our song, I'd like for us to pray. Because we have to wrap up the show. We are almost out of time, actually. We need to wrap up the show. But you know we always end in a word of prayer. And today I want us to pray to ask God some serious things. Do you mind closing your eyes and bowing your heads? Excellent. Let us pray. Good afternoon, God. God, we want to thank you for the opportunity to come into your presence, to learn from your word, and to be able to share your word with others. That's a true blessing, God. And God, we thank you for the fact that we know that you love us. We know that you have compassion for us. We know that it is your compassion that sent your son, Jesus Christ, to give his life that we might live. And God, we pray that the same love that caused you to send Jesus, that that love lives in us. That we use that love, God, to share with other people. God, in this world, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of hardship. There's a lot of sad people in bad situations. And we know sometimes these situations don't directly affect us. But God, we want that you strengthen us with your love. Fill us with your spirit. That when we see others in need, we don't just turn our heads and pretend we don't see it. That we, with the love that is in us from you, we use that love to make a difference in their world. God. Your word teaches us that faith without works is dead faith. And we believe in you. And we want you to strengthen us and empower us that we could do for you. And by doing for you, do for others to help them. Fill our hearts with your love. Fill our hearts with your kindness. Fill our hearts with your compassion. Take our hands and use them as your hands to reach out to a world that is hurting. Fill us with your compassion, God. And God, may it be that when we show compassion to others, that they may pay it forward and offer that compassion to someone else. And then God, here on earth, it might be a little bit as it is in heaven, where we all love each other and all work together in order to see the good for one another. We just thank you, God, for this opportunity. We thank you for your love and your compassion. And we lift our prayers to you to the name of your most precious son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Excellent. Now, we have a final song, and this one is from Miss Sue Blizzard, yes? And it's based on one of my favorite songs. Do you ever see the um, movie, um, The Jungle Book? Yes. Right. You like The Jungle Book? Yes. There's a song in The Jungle Book called The Bare Necessities. Yes? You know that song? Yes. So this one, Miss Sue Blizzard, she made a song entitled Compassion, A Recipe for Life, based on this tune. And when I heard it, in love, you know how I am. I fall in love with things quickly, especially when it's things for Jesus. Right? And so we're going to close off with this one. Compassion, a recipe for life from Miss Sue Blizzard. And of course, everything is in the description below. And you could click those links and find additional songs from these people's website. But we are out of time for today. Miss Analia, Muki, Graffi, and I, we had fun with you here on Children's Bible Minutes. We look forward to seeing you on Monday. Now, we know that school is out and that you're going to be tempted to be all over the place. 
it's still not safe. You need to stay home as much as you can. Yes? If you're going to go out, practice your physical distancing. See, we are like four feet away from each other. Mm -hmm. Right? It's just that the camera is far, so it looks close. But we're about four feet from each other. Exactly. Uh -huh. Wear your mask when you are in public. Sanitize your hand after. Inside, outside, 20 seconds. Wash, wash, wash. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But above all, don't forget. God loves you. And we do too. Until next time, bye for now. <laughs>